Class, we have a very famous guest today, large and in charge, making your blood vessels big and bounding, fresh off the release of her two new books, Be True to Your Salt and Salt Happens. She's big, she's bloated, the glamorous, the fabulous, Miss Salty Sodium. Today we're wrapping up hypernatremia. Hyper meaning high, nat meaning sodium, emia in the blood. Sodium greater than 145 microequivalents per liter. Now, sodium's function is to maintain two things, blood pressure and blood volume. She's regulated by ADH, the antidiuretic hormone, also known as ADD to H2O. It basically holds fluid in the body and influences sodium levels. Aldosterone, I call aldostyrone, the security bouncer in the kidneys, holds onto sodium inside the body by blocking her at the kidney exits. And lastly, sodium is regulated by the sodium-potassium pump, which moves sodium out of the cells via active transport. Now, the main causes that keep sodium high in the body and not in the potty, using our nifty acronym, the LAST DIVA, L, the loss of fluids causing a thick concentrated blood known as hemoconcentration, fancy words for dehydration, from conditions like infection, diarrhea, heat exhaustion, or even a lot of diaphoresis, which is persistent sweating, where fluid loss is faster than sodium loss. Hence, sodium is concentrated and increased in the body. Now, a little NCLEX tip for you. Words like persistent, severe, or profound are late and serious signs. So please be sure to write that down. Now, diabetes insipidus dehydrates you too by causing death to ADH that add to H2O hormone. So I call it dye ADH because fluid leaves the body quickly. Now A stands for ADH insufficiency. Now as said before, I'll say it again, diabetes insipidus, dye ADH, dye, causes dehydration. ADH which adds H2O to the body is dead. So basically fluids leave the body very quickly. S is for sodium excretion impaired. So renal failure are basically broken kidneys. T is from too much processed foods. So packaged foods, canned foods, fast foods, even fried foods. Ooh, ooh. D is from depuration of fluids from not enough fluids like drinking water, which causes high and dry lab values. Now in fancier terms, we call it hemoconcentration, very thick blood. I is for IV hypertonic solution excess, basically too much hypertonic IV fluids, like three to 5% normal saline, which is a very thick, salty saline solution. Now vitamins or sodium supplements, like medications like Alka-Seltzer or aspirin and even cough syrups, all contain high sodium. A is for aldosterone excess, like Cushing disease, which leads to hyperaldosteronism, and we call aldosterone aldostyrone, the security guard bouncer in the kidneys, which holds sodium inside the body by blocking her at the kidney doors. So our patients are gonna retain all this water and they'll look big and round like big moon faces with Cushing's disease. So what's going on in hypernatremia? Well, high, high sodium, right? And since sodium is the queen of blood pressure and blood volume, well then everything in the body is gonna be big and bloated, right? Now before you start memorizing all these signs and symptoms and pretty much have a whole meltdown of confusion and start reconsidering your career choice, let's make this simple and focus on what the test will ask you. And really, what do you think the test is gonna ask you? Well, priority signs and symptoms, of course. So who are you gonna assess first? So write this down, we're gonna go from mild to severe signs and symptoms also known as nursing assessments. All right guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course, as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here, for all of our new videos coming out here on YouTube first, before they go into our video vault right up there at simplenursing.com. Oh, and last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos. So guys, here on the left are our amazing set of nurses, as well as production crew, 
who helped make our new and improved videos not only amazing, but gave it their love and attention. And guys, right here on our right is our bibliography and source cited page, just in case you're curious on where we got our information from. Thanks guys, see you next time.